Well, good morning. Good morning. From P&O Zero. We're in Calvi in Corsica today. Uh, we just had the most amazing sunrise this morning. Absolutely beautiful. It was gorgeous. We sat and out with a cup of tea and watched it. It was amazing, wasn't it? Absolutely stunning. Yesterday was a really full on day. We were in La Spezia yesterday in Italy and uh, it was what we came on this cruise for is to come and get a taste of Italy and we took an excursion. First we got up and had a bit of brekkie, didn't we? We did, yeah. Yeah, but you know, we were docked pretty early on. It's quite an interesting manoeuvre to moor the ship up on the dock there. There's a little bit of a pirouette going on in the harbour there, but we were soon found ourselves. We were on the gangplank heading down ashore and then finding our coach because we did that excursion, Pisa and Florence on your own. We did. Was the excursion yesterday. <laughs> so we guided to our coach and it's we had quite a bit of time on the coach yesterday, wasn't it? It was, but it was it was quite um, welcoming actually because the, it had aircon on it, and that was lovely. Because as soon as you got off, the heat hit you. Yeah. It actually got up to was it thirty seven degrees in the end? Probably a bit higher in Florence, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably a bit higher in Florence, probably so close to forty. Mm. But um, anyway, so the coach journey from La Spezia down to Pisa is about an hour. Yeah, about yeah. an hour. We had a guy, obviously, who was telling us all about the history of the area and the Tuscany region and the marble in the mountains. It was, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we saw lots of sunflowers. Yeah, lots of lovely countryside mm. as, we, as we drove down to Pisa. Um, and about an hour later, we were parked up in this coach park uh, and then you know, alighting our coach. And then it was about a 15-minute walk into the city itself, isn't it? Yeah. So our guide, Maria, was... Holding her number 12 up. Number 12, walking <laughs> down into into the city. Um, it's actually quite a track in the heat. And there were some people on the tour which had sort of mobility issues that did struggle. They kind of got a bit left behind, which was a little bit of a worry. They actually uh, found out that they went back to the coach. Yeah, they didn't actually mm. make it. Um, and they turned around and went back to the coach, which was sad to see. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, it was a, a flat walk, but in the mm. heat uh, and the distance, it was, a, you know, a, a little bit of a challenging trek, obviously, for some. Yeah. Um, interestingly, on the way into... Uh, the city of Pisa. Um, uh, there's lots of tours going down there, and one of the other tours from obviously another cruise ship that was going there. The guy at the front of them was bellowing and shouting, saying, "Beware of pickpockets! See them over there? They're pickpockets! Don't go near them!" <laughs> it was quite funny, and there's these people sat on this bench just looking at us, bewildered, just chuckling she, away. Yeah, so. she was saying, "Oh, they look like any any normal person, but they're not." Yeah, <laughs> but obviously this pickpocketing issue is something that is a, a problem here, mm -hmm. um, and we're we're expecting. Get at, at other port, uh, ports as well, especially um, Rome, I think. And sadly, bad, we did it? encounter on our way back on board yesterday. A lady had a phone ping sent. Yes, so sad. Really sad. She thought she'd been set up. She was asked to pay for something twice, um, yeah. and then when she went to put her, you know, go back into her purse to put her wallet back in the purse, her phone had the been phone pinched. had gone. She said she didn't even feel it. So she didn't even feel it. So yeah. that was really sad. So obviously, mm. it's an issue. So we got to try and be extra careful when we're yeah. out and about. But Pisa itself, well, uh, we didn't get that long there. It was about an hour, just over an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. About an hour yeah. there. And obviously, you go to this walled city, you walk in, and then everybody's there striking a pose, doing... Trying to get the photo. And, You've got to get the uh, photo, that. you know, you've yeah. got to get it. <laughs> um, and there's literally hordes and hordes and hordes of tourists there, all doing the same thing. It's quite a sight. Uh, but well, we, we got the photo, didn't we? And then we thought we would do what we do and go and explore a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the, yeah. the cathedral and the you know the obviously the bell tower, the leading tower is, is quite a sight. And most but people stay in there. It's so wasn't it? There's so cute, so many queues to get up there, and we we didn't have enough time to do that really. It's a tourist trap, mm. um, and so we kind of well we thought well, we've got a short time here. Let's yeah. go and explore some of the rest of the city. So we had a wander down into the city. Can't resist the supermarket as always. Um, well, we need to get some more water. We didn't have enough water for the day, did we? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> unlike unlike excursions we've done on other cruise lines, in this kind of heat and temperature, um, you know, didn't provide a bottle of water for the passengers on the coach. They would sell you one for a yeah. euro. That was something that the coach driver was provided, doing, yeah. but obviously. The, not, nothing complimentary and we had water bottles with us but we quickly mm. realized we needed more fluids didn't we 
yeah one one bottle for a whole day in that heat is just definitely not enough is no. it so and it mm. found a carrefour express and yep. loaded up the bags and mm. uh, had a wander down into the city of pisa which is a pretty little city isn't it it's absolutely beautiful lovely town square yeah. area and some other churches around the city as well which are always worth a visit mm. and um really really pretty and uh, we were told on the way in by our guide that the gelato in this particular region of uh, Italy yeah. was um, particularly special so hey. freshly ha handmade um, that day or something wasn't yeah, it have, yes something about in Pisa they have to make mm. it and use it within a short, period, time. A short yeah. period of time so um, oh that was awesome I had it like a cherry flavor one yeah. oh wow it was amazing. I had a lemon flavoured one. The only thing is, you had to eat it really, really quick because in that heat, it was just melting and going down your arms. I mean, you if you didn't ram it down your throat, <laughs> it was going to end up on the floor, wasn't it, at the end of the day? Was... Yeah, I would like to have really taken my time, I think, and eaten it a bit slowly, but no, you couldn't do that. Mate, it was literally brain freeze territory, wasn't it? You it literally was. just shove it in there as quickly as you can. Otherwise, You're all right because you eat like that anyway. It ends up down your arm and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> but it was beautiful gelato and um it was really nice and we had a little one around the street we went right. to the city square didn't we? well i i really liked it we went into this area um in this little courtyard didn't we yeah, and there was square, wasn't it? Yeah. oh city yeah, square yeah, yeah. yeah a little court, where it looked like a sort of courtyard and yeah it was beautiful anyway yeah. and there was this dog obviously the dogs are getting really hot in this weather and this lady she actually had it in a um in a pram yeah. didn't she or push no the push chair in a little push chair this dog got the dog out and started giving the dog a bath in the fountain it was amazing to watch wasn't it the dog was loving it the dog was <laughs> loving it um but that hour just sped past too oh, you know, yeah. could have spent longer there and done more and seen more there is lots to see there other than the tower um that's right which is very evident so possibly a place i might want to go back to actually mm. i liked it there it was nice um then we had to head our way back to the coach again you know another 15 minutes back out a few souvenirs right. bought and all that which is yeah good. we got our souvenirs didn't we and then we were heading off to florence and um, that was a bit longer that journey wasn't yeah, it yeah from pieces to florence was, was about an hour and a quarter hour and a half and about an hour and a half I yeah think, about wasn't an it? hour and a half mm. again lovely countryside going up through the mountains <laughs> yeah um, really nice and then they dropped us off outside the main city area mm -hmm. um she gave us a map and then it was about another 15 minute walk would you say yeah another 15 minute walk from where they dropped us uh, following our guide again with the number 12. everyone did come this time didn't they everybody did just about yeah. make it um into the city and then mm. the first thing the guy did randomly was drag us all into a jewelers um, yeah which was a bit strange she, she was sort of saying about it saying that um P and O wanted us to go and have a look at this jewelers for five minutes wasn't it yeah something like mm. that so we had to endure this sales pitch from this jewelers in florence um and promises of discounts and this that and the other um I, it was a bit strange to get that but mm. certainly we weren't expecting that and that wasn't part of what was specified in the excursion you know itinerary yeah. but it was only five minutes so okay yeah. thanks very much um we yeah. weren't really in the market for jewelry and we had yeah. three and a half hours in florence and we knew there was a lot to see there was yeah. um uh, so it was a case of well thanks very much and, and off we went <laughs> and well, what a pretty city gorgeous every every turn there was something to see wasn't there there's stacks and stacks mm. to see and i think that obviously there's lots of attractions there the main attractions being michelangelo's david of course and the diomo the cathedral yeah. there but what we quickly realized was that that's where everybody goes and and we only had three hours only had three hours mm. and it was a case of well if you hadn't booked tickets in advance you were probably going to have to form a part, a part of a very 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 long queue and in this heat it's probably not enjoyable either no, is it no for those attractions mm. so it was a case of okay we're not going to do them this time but we like the city and maybe we'll do them when we come back and plan a bit better um, yeah. and what else could we see we hadn't had any food no um, and on time out's review of florence they did recommend <laughs> for foodies like us the, the the central market was definitely worth a visit so we kind of hot footed it across the city we found it didn't we and on our journey there we went through amazing leather market didn't oh, that, we that was very special wow wasn't it, wasn't it? Wow. it's like a, a street mm. with 
sort of like market stalls, but they covered it over with tarpaulins and sheeting and yeah. to keep the sun off here. Because um, Florence is really well known for its leather and its gold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And But the leather goods were just out of this world. Lovely though. smell of leather as you're walking it through. Was, was, and it was shaded area as well, so it was well, nice. <laughs> we've been given this tourist map, but we quickly realised that where we were was off the map. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we were on top left-hand corner of the map. And thinking, OK, <laughs> right, OK. We, we found ourselves in this leather market. And then we went into this central market area, which was, wow, that was a absolute... Wow, it's a find, wasn't it? It was a find. <laughs> it really was a find. It was a I find. Mean, there's, there's three floors, actually. On The first floor is a traditional sort of market where you can fresh produce and all that kind of stuff. And that, mm. that's really good. And there's a, there's a couple of bars and a few eateries downstairs. But up on the first floor is a street food court. And, mm. uh, and on the second floor as well. Um, but the street food court wow there's Amazing. so much choice yeah absolutely so much choice of lovely locally produced foods and craft beers and all that kind all of, stuff. Sorts of stuff and it was really buzzing wasn't it it was amazing. Absolutely buzzing. And it was a real, real find. And we sat there, had a beer. It wasn't the smartest thing to do in the heat, but it was very <laughs> nice anyway. And also, when you're in Italy, you've got to go and have a pizza where, you know, pizzas come from. So I went, look, went and looked around and I found this brilliant place. They were actually making the pizzas there and then. They had the dough, they were cutting it up, making up your pizzas, popping them in the oven. So that was amazing. So I got that pizza there. and. Oh, wasn't it lovely? It was very, very. It was. Very, very I could tasty. taste it for ages after. It was so tasty. I think it's fair to say that mm. was a, that was a quite an experience. Mm, it wasn't definitely. quite the culture of uh, Italy and the Renaissance culture, art culture, and stuff like that. <laughs> Probably we were supposed to do, but hey, look, you know, <laughs> beer and good food—that's culture in its own yeah. right. Um, so that was <laughs> that was that was really good. That was a real find. Really enjoyed that. But then we decided we thought probably ought to take in some of the things that were on sort of the to-do list in, in the city. So we found the um, Church of Santa Maria Novello, didn't we? Mm. And um, I'm it, so glad we went in there. That was beautiful. I mean, it was seven euros 50 each mm. to get in. And we wondered what we were paying for, but it's vast. And we could have spent hours and hours in there. There's so much to see. The pictures in there. Oh, the, the frescoes, paintings the paintings. And, oh, amazing. Uh, and Very old as well, weren't they? Yeah, it's not just a the cathedral there's there's obviously uh, you know there's cloisters and mm. all sorts of things to explore yeah. there's, there's crypts cloisters all sorts of things there and um, like a little bit of a museum area like a museum there? area yeah. as well mm. it's, and as Annette said you know some of the the artwork there is like seven eight hundred years old yeah in immaculate condition and lovingly restored or cared for mm. and it's well just mind-blowing how old but how beautiful it is um mm. that was a real real find really as well nice. and wasn't anywhere that loads of tourists went it was no relatively no there was um, no queue to get in there and if you just wanted a sort of a taste of sort of renaissance art and stuff like that and it was definitely a, a place to go and yeah get a flavor of that um so that was great. And then we thought, well, the, top, the clock is ticking and we were kind of running out of time, but we wanted to go and see the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, didn't we? We did, yeah. Um, which is one of the oldest medieval bridges in the city and it's renowned for its uh, shops that span across the bridge, uh, which are all jewellers. Um, it's all gold, isn't it? Yeah, it's all gold. All gold. Yeah, Florence is quite an expensive city. We know this. <laughs> even things like food and drink was quite expensive around the city. Um, but there's, there's lots of opportunities to take money off you. <laughs> um, off there, but the bridge was stunning. Um, really nice. And we made our way back round there. We were struggling, or I in particular was struggling with the heat back then, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah the heat was really, us. Yeah, and, and I had my neck fan on, and um, yeah. but it was just like. Well, so we were stopping hot. for refreshments often just because we needed to. Mm. Um, but um, in anyway, Ponte Vecchio Bridge. Back round, we did yeah. the mark, the big square with the palace, the Palacio Vecchia. Oh, with the big the fountains. Statue, and fountain. And was it Neptune, statues. wasn't it? Neptune. Yeah. And there's, there's Beautiful. A, other and there was loads sculptures of sculptures there. Loads of there. sculptures, yeah. That was that was quite a special mm. place before making our way back to our rendezvous point. But we did find a nice little cafe, didn't we? Right, uh, right where we were being met. Yeah, right where mm. we were being met, where we sat down and had some of the tastiest lemonade I think I've ever had. <laughs> Um, when you're thirsty, anything's tasty. <laughs> it was really, really good. But it was nice, yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. So, uh, and then we found that 50 minute walk back to the coach, and then we were speeding back to the to the ship. But yeah. it was really, I mean, Florence 
beautiful city. Yeah, absolutely, really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Back aboard the ship, we got back quite late. We, you know, we set off at eight eight thirty in the morning. We were back aboard the ship seven in the evening, mm. and uh, it was about a two and a half hours journey back to the ship. Yeah, um, we were absolutely shattered. We didn't really want to do too much in the evening, did we? Fairly low key. Yeah, showered, fresh. Showered up. up. Yeah, we certainly needed that. <sighs> A uh, quick bite to eat, quite yeah. quite a light bite because yeah, we'd stuffed our face in the food. <laughs> <laughs> and you had um, chips had and chips cheese, and cheese, also, and chips, cheese as well. chips with just, bacon or whatever. Just, yeah, they were so good. <laughs> they were so good. But um, quite a light bite in the buffet, and then we went yeah. around the ship. There was a few musical acts playing, but we did end up in our favourite planet bar. Yeah, it was a lovely pianist. Oh, that yeah, she was brilliant, yeah. pianist and, and singing. Yeah. yeah, she was brilliant. Glass of wine. You had yeah. a passion fruit martini mm -hmm. yeah, and, it. <laughs> uh, we were just enjoying the sort of the ambience of the planet bar which i think definitely is the best bar on azura by yeah. a long way and very it's few so people chilled. in it yeah. as well. i think i think by what the pianist was saying that um people take a long time to try and find it and there were people in there they said oh they're on their second week and they've only just found it i know <laughs> it's it's the best bar on yeah. Europe by a long, long way. But uh, so that's that. So today, Calvi, Corsica, as we said at the start, mm. um, sun's out again, lovely weather, great sunrise. Um, we haven't got any excursions planned for today. We're going to just try and make our way ashore. No, doing Cook's Explore today, aren't we? We are. It's a tender <laughs> port, so tenders ashore, but we've got to wait our turn before they let the sort of the independent sort of like travellers and explorers make their way ashore on the centers because all the excursions go off first yeah. so um we'll we're just going to go and get some breakfast now aren't we we'll go and get some breakfast mm. anyway thanks for joining right. us and check in Thank and you. see how we got on at calvi bye please like and subscribe